Shalom, children. In our story last time, we heard about a wonderful miracle when Yeshua fed the children of Israel with bread. The sign reminded the people of Moshe and the manna in the wilderness. They realized Yeshua was the prophet that they had all been waiting for. Later, when they went to Kephanachum, he had told the crowd, I am the bread of life. Everyone who believes in the Son may have everlasting life, and I will raise him up on the last day. Our story continues in Kephanachum, when some Pharisee leaders from Jerusalem went up to Yeshua to question him. They said, Why do your disciples break the traditions of our elders and not do the special hand washing before eating bread? Yeshua answered them, Why do you break the command of Elohim because of your traditions? Elohim has commanded, saying, Respect your father and mother. Yeshua was referring to something the Pharisees did, which made them look very good in front of men, but not so good in the eyes of Elohim. You see, in those days, when parents were too old to work, their adult children could help out by giving them money so they could buy the things they needed. But there was a man-made rule where the Pharisees could take that money and donate it to the temple treasury instead. Everyone would see how generous they were taking extra gifts of money to the temple, not realizing elderly parents were missing out. Yeshua said, The prophet Yeshayahu spoke about them when he said, These people draw near to me with their mouth, but their heart is far from me. They teach the commands of men as if they are from Elohim. Oh dear, the Pharisee leaders were saying wonderful things about Adonai, but they were not worshipping him in spirit and in truth. Children, do you remember when we talked about faith? It starts in the mind, but it needs to go down into the heart. From there it travels to the hands and even to the feet. We then do the right thing, not just say the right thing. Later on, the taught ones went to Yeshua and told how the Pharisee leaders were offended by how he had answered them. Yeshua replied, They are blind leaders, leading blind men. When the blind lead the blind, both will fall into a ditch. He explained to them, Words which come out of the mouth have come from the heart, and it is from the heart all types of wicked behaviors come. Remember, children, a bad tree that is rotten in its heart is going to produce bad fruit on its branches. Many times now, those Pharisee leaders have come to Yeshua with their tricky questions, trying to catch him out or trip him up with their words, haven't they? But Yeshua always answered them straight, speaking truth to them. He shone a light on them, and they didn't like it, not one bit. The religious leaders were becoming so angry with Yeshua and his teachings. They saw how he had touched many lives with his ministry, and they thought the people would soon turn against them. They needed to put a stop to it. So they plotted together to seek a way to kill him. Yeshua traveled to Beit Zeda, which means house of hunting. Some people had brought a blind man to Yeshua and begged that he touch him. Yeshua took the blind man by the hand and led him out of the town. 
Yeshua then spat onto his hands and put some of that spittle onto the eyes of the blind man. He asked him if he could see anything. The man said he could see men, like trees walking around. Yeshua put his hands on him again and the man's eyesight was restored. What an interesting miracle. Let's take a closer look and see if we can understand the picture that was created when this event took place. Firstly, Yeshua led the man away from the town. That reminds me of when Adonai took Yisrael by the hand and led them out of the land of Mitzrayim. So before the blind man's vision could be restored, Yeshua led him away from Mitzrayim, or bondage. He then applied spit to the man's eyes. That sounds pretty yuck, doesn't it? But it is very likely this was a message to the Pharisee leaders. Sometime earlier, they had asked Yeshua, By what authority do you forgive people of their sins? Yeshua had told them, he was Ben Elohim, the Son of God, the firstborn Son. It is the firstborn Son who traditionally inherits from the Father. Sometimes in those days a dispute would arise in a family as to which son was the firstborn, the one who would inherit. One rabbi had instructed a simple test to be carried out to determine the correct answer. It was thought the spit of the firstborn son could heal. So this rabbi had said, a blind man was to be brought before the disputing sons. Both would put spit onto the blind man's eyes, and the one that healed, well, that was the firstborn son. Now, Yeshua didn't need to heal the man like this, but he was showing the Pharisees, See, according to your traditions, I healed a man with my spittle. I am the firstborn son, Ben Elohim. The blind man had reported he could see men, like trees walking around. Again, we are reminded that men are like trees. That is, we bring forth fruit. But these trees were walking around, which tells me they had no roots. In the book of Psalms, it says that we should be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. The prophet Jeremiah said the tree's roots will spread out by that river, so even heat and drought would not stop the tree from producing fruit. What a wonderful promise! If we plant our lives by the living water, that is Yeshua, and put down our roots into the ground along the river bank, that is the scriptures, we will be producing fruit no matter what difficulties will come our way. Well, children, that is the end of our story for today. So we will see you next time for another exciting journey in the life of Yeshua. Shalom. There is a name by which I am saved. Salvation.